tired but happy to be safe in Poland. Kristina Timonovskaya arrived in Warsaw from Japan via Vienna last night. The Belarusian athlete has been given a Polish humanitarian visa after fears for her safety. While she was at the Olympic Games in Tokyo, the sprinter criticised her coaches on Instagram when they entered her into a race without her knowledge. Her coaches threatened her with problems at home unless she left Japan immediately. They also come to my room and they say that I have no chance to run 200 metres and I should to come back to home and it's not their decision, it's they just should to do it. And um, when I uh, pick up my clothes and go to the car, my grandmother, she called me and she said, you can't uh, come back to home because on the TV they say a lot of uh, bad words about you. Today the IOC says it's still waiting to speak to Belarusian team officials. Speaking to the BBC, Christina says she now regrets her emotional tone, but not her action. Now it's so dangerous for me. I don't know when I can come back to home, but uh, I, I love my country, so I wanted to come back to home. Belarus is ruled by President Alexander Lukashenko, the man often described as Europe's last dictator. The opposition politician Pavel Latushko says Kristina is one of many Belarusians to suffer repression. It's only one example of this level of repressions in Belarus. More than 40,000 Belarusian people during last year were arrested on political reasons. Kristina says she's not political and hasn't taken part in anti-government protests. It's been a tumultuous few days for Christina. Her life has been turned upside down and she can't go home. She says she wants to continue her sporting career here in Poland. But most of all, right now, she says, she wants to run. Christina's husband fled to Ukraine and is now on his way to join her in Poland. Her parents are still back at home in Belarus. No one knows when they'll be able to meet again. Bethany Bell, BBC News, Warsaw.